Hey guys, how you guys all doing? This is your boy Dino aka DRP here. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> it's been a while. Camera quality seems really good today. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it might just be me after kind of look back on this video. But for some reason, the camera quality looks quite good today. I don't know why. <laughs> um, this is more of uh, in, um, well, this is more of an update really in the life of DRP really. <laughs> I uh, just, just want to sit down and talk, just to talk about what, how things has been with me so far. Um, I'm currently facing a potential, potentially, uh, this is not confirmed, but potentially could be facing a really bad injury. Um, <clears throat> probably the worst injury anyone could have, especially people who work out a lot, who are athletes in general. Uh, but you know i'm not i wouldn't go as far as saying that i'm a, I'm, I'm i'm like i'm full-on athlete but i do like working out a lot i do like keeping myself active and fit this in general this place that i potentially could have an injury is probably the worst injury you could ever get uh you guys probably would know the name achilles tendons uh tendonitis or i don't know how it's pronounced but your achilles your achilles tendons um it's been hurting for the past three or four months um on and off though it's been on and off because i think it's kind of like ever since i started my new job it's requiring me to stand up literally 75 80 percent of my day uh and the shifts i do is always kind of like 13 4 with 12 13 hour shifts it used to, it didn't used to be like that but in recent times they've changed it kind of like the rotor they're kind of trying to they basically put more longer shifts and in return that we get more days off whatever but my problem is because um once i'm done with all my shifts and then i go to my days off i'm just so tired to do fucking anything like this shifts has been so exhausting on me that i've put it this way i've not touched my ps5 in pretty much a month that is unheard of for me but it's just that the work has been so long, the shifts are so long and daunting that when it finally is done and then I come down to my like weekend off, which is like three day weekend, maybe a four day weekend, but a lot of the times a three day weekend, I'm just too tired to do anything. Um, but yeah, coming back to this injury, this injury has kind of been on and off. My back here would hurt like crazy. I think most of my pain, I would feel it one when i wake up in the morning so when i wake up in the morning after just not moving at all and number two when i either start jogging or running when i'm walking it's fine uh once i start walking for a long period of time i would start to feel it be uncomfortable but no it's not painful it's when i jog or run that's when the pain really kicks in so i'm able to walk a lot of the time without having experiencing any pain so obviously when i spoke to some of the gym staffs about it when i was in the gym they said it's probably uh probably your calf muscles are so tight that it pulls on your achilles tendons and so you feel a lot of pain from it but then they asked me whether it's just both both uh both feet or if it's just one side of the feet and i said it's just my right side and that's when they said it could actually be an injury it could potentially be an injury on my Achilles which I'm actually very very kind of like scared about because I don't know how but if it is if it does turn out to be an injury I don't know how bad the injury is going to be because the thing is with on your Achilles because your because the blood flow and the blood, blood supply into your Achilles tendons is pretty low in general like you do get blood supply but it's very small compared to the rest of your body therefore that's why it takes so long for achilles tendons to heal um so hearing about this it's i'm scared if it is turning out to be an injury then i have to be out of action well not out of action but there's a lot of things that i can't do for a number of months um I mean, if I were to go, I went to the gym today and I basically did other exercises which didn't require me to run or use my legs as much. 
so I can always uh, do low impact ex exercises like cycling. Cycling really helps with low impact exercises because obviously when you're running, your foot's kind of like hitting the floor, isn't it? When you're running or on the treadmill, it's kind of like it's making that big impact, which does really put a lot of strain on your Achilles tendon. So obviously I um, attended my GP, but the GP was online, so I had to do it online. And then I went to the nearest pharmacy and I told them about it, and they said it could probably be an injury. Uh, what's probably happened is it's probably an injury that you barely felt like it's an injury that you must have received and it was so minor that at the time it you barely felt any pain and obviously as you started doing more workouts and did a lot more activities it's kind of like compensate for it and it's grown worse over the months at least that's what the f uh, person at the pharmacy thinks obviously my appointments are actually um, on the 19th of August, uh, <laughs> um, which is two weeks away, exactly two weeks away from today. Um, but in the meantime, they told me um, to make yourself feel better, to start doing exercises now. They recommended me doing, um, basically having a, buying an ice pack. So I've bought, I've bought this ice pack right here, hot and cold pack. I stick it to the freezer. Um, and literally they said to put put your Achilles heel right on the ice pack and what that does is um, <clears throat> because it numbs your foot due to the, how cold it is it numbs your foot and it also numbs your pain as well uh, because what tends to happen is um, if your leg if your back heel as in the Achilles is swollen it's mainly because uh, there's blood flow going into your Achilles and it becomes inflamed Inflamed is also a process of it healing. So obviously whilst it's in the process of healing, it's gonna feel inflamed and you can feel a lot of pain. And they said uh, a lot of the reason why you feel pain in the morning or after you, you sit down for a while and you get up to walk, you feel a lot more pain during those two times because especially when you're sleeping, you're not moving your body at all so your body your body becomes stiff in general because you're moving not moving your body for like what seven eight hours straight uh so this so by the time you get up it's it's basically inflamed <laughs> it's inflamed inflammation is what causes the pain in your achilles so obviously that's why you feel a lot more pain when you get up in the morning and you could barely after you've walked for, you know after you've relaxed your muscles and legs after like five minutes or so you should be fine but yeah they told me to just um obviously they said um to put an ice pack on for 10 minutes then take you off for 10 minutes and then put your leg back on for 10 minutes and they said to repeat this process about two to three times a day um that's literally what i've been doing up like today i went to gym but the last two to three days i didn't go to gym at all uh in fact uh the my activity of my physical activity of going to the gym has definitely gone down but the thing is it's kind of messing with my mind like i hate it when i'm not going to gym because a lot of the time the reason why i go to gym is not because just for my physical well-being but for my mental well-being as well it helps me a lot it gets rid of any frustrations any sort of thoughts in my head like when i say thoughts in my head I'm not going that far guys but as in thoughts in my head is like oh i'm thinking about issues happening at work or personal issues and whatnot and the gym really helps me with that it clears my mind it really does clear my mind which is why when i go to the gym come back i'm my mind's clear so that's just the police car um I'm, but my mind is clear and then i can get get some videos done you know i feel much better it's gonna be difficult. Like it's not like I can't work out at all. Though. I can still get a lot of workouts done. Like uh, in fact, uh, the past, uh, like today and the days that I could work out, I've been focusing a lot more on calisthenic exercises. Uh, that doesn't require me going to the gym if I can't go to gym. So obviously, it doesn't require my foot as well, my feet. I don't have to strain my feet as much. It's just a lot of uh, uh, push ups, sit ups, uh, and then just basically any any sort of pipe push-ups as well uh just any sort of exercises that doesn't directly affect my leg i can do it's just uh, as uh, but once i start using my legs to do something like running or jogging it's when, when the pain really kicks in um but yeah this uh, 
so on the 19th of August I'll go and obviously discuss to them about this and I probably will have to get I don't think it's an x-ray because x-rays are for bones so I'm assuming it's going to be an ultrasound ultrasound yeah, uh, ultrasound scan I, I think that's probably for the muscles I'm not sure though I'm not well versed in the science department on the scientific stuff but I definitely do know x-rays is for bones <laughs> that much I know but ultrasound scan um, probably for the muscles so I don't know I would have to discuss it with them when I get there but yeah this this injury has been really really daunting just cause it's probably one of the most it's probably one of the worst injuries you could ever get because if you do rupture if it for me I don't think I've ruptured my tendons, Achilles tendons, because I can still walk without feeling any pain for a while. So, which is, and I only start to feel the inkling of pain kicking in when it's jogging or running. So I do feel like it's more of a bruise and strain than it being actually ruptured. Like, um, the pharmacy said you could be in a lot of pain with your Achilles tendons and when they check your scan, it will probably be the smallest injury uh, that there's been cases like that, um, so yeah, it's that's why I'm really hoping that it's just not a straight up injury because I've, you know, you, it takes a long time to heal. Like when you rupture your Achilles tendons, it takes, I think, a minor injury. You would have to stay put, stay out of action for like four months. And if it's a, a major one, then you would have to take up to six months to actually start walking, and then another couple of months after that so a total of nine months to start doing more intensive exercises so that's you know think about it. nine months guys nine months to fully recover and even then there's been cases where you're never the same when you come back from an Achilles tendon so mainly I'm gonna probably just obviously after going to this GP um, just start doing a lot of uh, physiotherapy physio exercises doing a lot of calf races uh, controlled calf races of course to not strain it too much put ice packs on my Achilles tendon every day um, just just relax my legs as much as possible like not put it through any sort of major strain or exercises trying to keep my leg off the that limit of all the time only issue will be my workplace because my workplace I would have to walk a lot in general I mean a fuck ton so I don't know how that's gonna come into play I do have um I did buy myself um, an ankle support though I did get myself an ankle support so it's it helps it really helps you know the ice pack plus the ankle support and some painkillers like uh, ibuprofen or neofen it, it, it relieves the pain and swelling of course so um, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes but yeah that's just me guys so uh, sorry for no proper videos today like my usual videos but on um, Thursday yeah, on Thursday I'm off. I'm off on Thursday. So I'll definitely get some uh, pre-recordings done for the holiday port that I just finished. So I do apologize for that, but it's just been, yeah, it's just been very difficult recently with this is a potential injury I have. So it's got me thinking. So my brain's all, all over the place thinking about different scenarios. So yeah, sorry about that guys. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.